And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast, with another season of AK Blade. Whether you want it or not. That's it. We've been renewed. See end. Automatic subscription. Joel. Just Joel. And we're back to our usual stick with the new knives, but we promise you won't be disappointed about what's on the table. Okay. So this week we're focusing on blades from Wii, PMP, Kershaw, Kubi, and Kaiser. Yep. So we're going to get this party started with the Kershaw Launch 17 and 18. So beginning with the 17. It is only one option right now, but you know Kershaw, they'll come up with more. So it's 8.45 inches when opened. This auto has a 3.5 inch black Cerakote finish CPM S35VN clip point blade with a plain edge, a little bit of jimping, and 0.12 inch thickness. Comes about 60, 62 on the HR C scale. Yeah, go ahead. Handle is dark gray, anodized 6061 T6 aluminum with black G10 inlays. Blade is deployed with the push of the low profile button. To keep the blade from accidentally deploying, of course. Blade is disengaged the same way. Yep. Has a tip up deep carry, reversible pocket clip. Made in the USA, this launch is only $134.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. All right, let's hit the 18 and then tell them our thoughts on the other knives, all right? So, launch 18. Only one option, as I said, Kershaw will probably come out with more. So it has a 2.79 inch stonewash finish 154 cm spear point blade with a little bit of jimping, plain single edge, and 0 0.12 inch thickness. Comes to 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. The handle is dark gray anodized aluminum with tip up deep carry reversible pocket clip. Also has an integrated backspacer. Ceramic bead blasted titanium pivot trim ring. Blade is open with a push of the low profile button. Designed and made in the USA, of course. This auto is 6.79 inch overall and weighs only 2.3 ounce. Catch it at AK for just $117.95. Okay, you can go <clears throat> first. 17, 18. <clears throat> 19, 20. I like them both. I like the whole launch series. I mean, some of them a little more than others. Um, it's good design. Easy to open. Nice carry. Snaps open with authority. That's important. Um, black blades. Eh. I like the this one a little bit better. This one actually has some ump into it. When uh, you gotta be careful when you open that one. It's when it opens. Ah, oh, see, my hand slips, so yeah. I didn't want to cut myself there. I took it away. That's great. All right. Well, Kershaw can definitely do autos. I think we've determined that. However, I think my favorite would have to be the 17. It has a few similar features to some of the other launches that I really like, like the 8. Handle shapes kind of that, kind of reminds me of that. And I also like the slightly bigger blades. You know, they're just more comfortable for me. I. This one's okay. I don't know. It's too much like the 11 and 9, which are lower on my favorites list. In terms of the launch series, this one's probably my first or second favorite now. All right. That's nice. Good All job. Right. Yeah. All right. So with past uh, a, lot of, a lot of Kershaw launches now, we'll probably there have are. to do a whole new entire Kershaw launch series video. Yeah, I think I can't remember what number we stopped at. And it was, it was a long time ago. Might have been 13. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe 10, 11, 12. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so I guess we are. We'll, we'll get it updated one we'll day. Maybe we'll one. get you crispy to do it. He'll <laughs> probably cut himself 17 times. Probably, yeah. but you know. All right, with that, we're on to the Kubi Hippocam. Yeah. Yeah. Black and red. Red and then silver. Yeah. We have the first two to show you today. These knives are 6.13 inch overall with a 2.3 inch black stone wash finish satin D2 blade. Each with a single plain edge jimping and handles our G10 with finger rings yep. and lanyard holes. Yep. So these full tank carries come with black Kydex, huh? Black Kydex belt sheaths. So there it is. <coughs> just the click there. And they're just $34.99 from landknife.com. So 
These would make just perfect neck carries, I think. I mean, all you really need is like a paracord lanyard you can make yourself or a billet chain. I really like them as neck knives, but you know, they are good belt ones. They're such a good knife for the money. Yeah. I get one. Nothing left to say. <laughs> I haven't used it as a belt carry, obviously. It's a good size. It fits in front of everyone, no matter what their size is. Um, finger rings big enough for everybody. Perfect little spot on top for your thumb. For 34 bucks, get two. Get two? Yeah. They've been very popular already. They've been on maybe, I don't know, two weeks, a week and a half. No sheath shimmy. Lots of them. Oh, the old sheath shimmy. shimmy. Yeah, the old. Oh, we have to bring back some of the old stuff, it looks like. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. We're going to move on. And you have a, uh, what is it we do? We do the intentionally mispronounced things. All right, go ahead. I'll get this one right. Oh, will you? The Wii Equivic. 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 E we gotta say it wrong. I can't do that one wrong. Okay. Yeah. The Z Equivic. Z Equivic. That's it's great. silent. Oh, right. All right. All right. Originally came in five different options. Unfortunately, three of those are already sold out. Popular, aren't we, Wii? It's not hard to see why, though. We have the Timascus one here today. Mm. I know. See, take it away. All right. So this nested frame lock is 8.05 inch when fully open and showcases the 3.48 inch CPM 20 CV drop point blade with about 0 0.10 thickness. Plain edge, jimping flat grind, and on this option, a black stone wash finish. Other options may feature a stone wash finish or damask steel. Yep, so both the CPM 20CV and the Dama Steel options come to about 3961 <clears throat> on the HRC scale. Handles, of course, also vary. Most are titanium with onlays of carbon fiber, Timascus, or a different color of titanium. All blades are opened with the jimped back flipper tab. Yeah, I believe the Timascus one, I can't remember, I think it's seven bills and you get a little change. So Each has a tip-up titanium pocket clip and comes with a pouch sticker and cleaning cloth which really adds to the value it, it does you get a little more bang for your buck and they started only three nineteen ninety five from milanknife.com this right. one is not seven bills this one's three no i know it's the is there a damascus one is the damascus steel one damascus right? okay That's what it is. okay i got gotcha. you isn't so, it 693 or six, i think so. i can't remember 639 it's, flo it's floating at that level does it really matter no. the truck was 76 850 or 76 580 really it's still more than you can afford a month all right oh i think this one won some uh awards at blade show west didn't it yeah yeah right you are Dell. it did it did do that and i really i think it deserves it this is a really beautiful knife i'm it's probably my favorite one Though the blue carbon fiber one is nice too. I think this might have even surpassed the button lock Xiphias in my eyes. I know. I know. Wow. Re I really like this design. You can feel how flush the onlays are, the Timascus, and they did it on both sides. The ease of opening, the sleek blade, everything is amazing. I mean, yeah, it's still a little high, but it's wee, okay? You get a gorgeous design. So if you want something like this, you got to go a little more. That's it. That's how it works. I like it too. It's beautifully designed. I like the tension to the extras, the um, nice titanium gold in there, anodized spacers. I mean, every little part of it is uh, perfectly done. What can I say? As a tool, I mean, I don't know. As a tool. Thought I would be using it. Oh, I, I know I it. wouldn't be, not that price range, it. but. Yeah, we, look what we did to the four hundred dollar. Uh, yep, well, j we're heretic j crispy. rock. J crispy. <laughs> I'm sorry, <It's> heretic. <laughs> I tried. That's great. But yeah. All right, so we've got several more killer blades to show you guys on the table. But first, you know the drill. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way, you're connected to AK and get notified when our latest stuff is dropped, as well as automatically entered into giveaways. So we happen to be ending one of those today. So, the winner of their very own tops, Zazbo. Zazbo. Ziabo. <laughs> Zizbo. Tops Double Edge Beauty is. You get the knife, Mike. Yeah. Mike Ellick. Or Mike Ellick, 9713. Or it could be a lick. Mm -hmm. Your name or your YouTube handle. You know what? The E could be silent. Mike Leck. The E could be silent. I've heard of silent E's. 
Well, the K in my could be silent. It'd be my. Eerie spelt with two E's at the beginning. Well, I can't hear one There isn't two E's at the beginning of a leak, though. There's only one. E. It could be a leak. Whether it's your name or your YouTube handle, whatever you go by, you won. Make sure to email sales at alarmknife.com to claim your I'm sure of that pronunciation. Yeah. Wendy. <laughs> we also want to say congrats to Dexter. Who? You got the AK trivia question, right? It was a ZTO 350. We'll be getting another trivia question for you, your official AK -er. So don't forget to check it out. That's great. We'll also be starting a New Year giveaway next week since it will be New Year. So make sure to catch our next video. It's going to be golden. All right. We also want to mention we have a brand that's growing in popularity. Yes. Uh, it's Dagger and Ice. People, will probably, you people probably heard of it. Some of you may not. We have a few of the most popular models here to show you. Uh, we have the Wocket. Urban 2, the Rhino, and the Wesident. <laughs> yeah, here, let's get them a little closer here. Go ahead. And I can't remember the price of all of them. I think most of them are in the 29 range. 29, I think. They do have some 99 34. higher models. So I don't think we have any of those here. No. Out here. So. All these models have uh, HCR. HCR. Yeah. And FRN handles. And super dope pocket clips. Look there at you those. Go. Yeah, I really like that one. And then this one is supposed to be the the D and the dagger logo. I like this one. We won't say what it really looks like, but you people know what it is. Oh. Oh, yep. And uh, like that, this is the... I bet you thing. this is a very resilient knife. Oh, you think? Yeah, probably cuts tenaciously. <laughs> I could probably spy it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You can stick that in your poochie. That's great. All right. Moving on. Sure. Next, we're going back to the table. We're looking at a ginormous paperweight, also known as the PMP. Titano. 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 Okay. All right. Designed by PMP. Manufactured by Max Ace, as you can tell. <laughs> Comes five different versions. We have Jules' favorite, the blue. Yes, so this piece is 9.25 inches when fully opened and has a 3.875 inch Bowler M390 Tonto blade with plain edge and chimping. Finishes vary from stone washed to black. Blade is opened with, hold on, there's a little stop there. All right, the thumb slot or the rounded jimped back flipper tab. Bing. So this frame lock has a titanium handle, jimped back spacer with built-in lanyard hole, and a tip-up right carry pocket clip. It has a pocket clip? Yes, it does. It's a pretty big it's pocket suitcase clip. carry. <laughs> it's great. Comes with a waterproof hard case, Yay! which is a little loves that. Look at that. It's got a little PMP logo in it. Get the Mega Blade of my dreams for a 550 from atlantiknife.com. So a little higher than some of us uh, we usually have on here. But if you look, huh, it's, like, it's like a flight at the end it had a little delay. Um, you can understand why. I mean, look at this knife. It is ridiculous. See what the favorite part of this knife is? Really crazy. Ridiculous. It fits my thumb in it, and they make this part here so high there is no way that my thumb will ever go over that That's i can good. hold this thing it's a chopper i mean chopper. yeah it's great it's 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 titano it's amazing. amazing yeah i think it's probably one of the biggest bulkiest knives i've ever seen <clears throat> i can definitely see max ace and pmp in this both companies like doing out of the box designs but in bigger than life packages the grizzly is also nice that's mm -hmm. another another big one they've done the only way this knife could be improved was if one could get it for free. But now that I think about it, that's, one cannot. that's all knives. I like all my knives free. Just walk in and be like, I'll take that, I'll take that. And guess what? It's all free. God, that would be nice, wouldn't free. it? Free. Good barter for it. Here, I got some lint. Take two Titanos. I'm sorry. We can't accept your lint. <clears throat> it's free. All right, we're moving on to the next one. That's With that, we're on to the Wii Wrecker. Four options. Wrecker. We have the blue one. So this frame lock, or bolster lock, I guess, is, uh, I couldn't see. Is it frame lock? Yeah, but yeah, it's near it the bolster, so. Oh, I got you. Yeah. 
It's 8.24 inch overall, 3.61 CPM 20 CV reverse Tanto blade with flat grind. About 0.13 of thickness on this model. And a polish, bead blasted finish. Yep, so the blade is deployed with a jimped back flipper tab and the handle is 6AL4V titanium along with the tip-up right carry pocket clip, screws and pivot cap, although it also comes with a lefty. So not reversible, but you can just slap that one on there. So everything on here is basically titanium as well as the built-in lanyard hole designed by Kyle Lamb. This folder comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. Yeah, we wrecker. Starts at only two fifty four ninety five from LionKnife.com. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Let me go first. All right. Yeah, I really like this knife. It's a nice knife. I love the design. Kind of has that uh, look of the Kaiser Mercury a little bit. I think it's called mm -hmm. with the blade. It's totally different other than that, but it's nice sleek design. I've never been fond of the uh, checkered no. handle. It kind of reminds me of the. No. Uh, what was the thing called? The uh, We Charity. Wow. I'm trying to bite my called. rhymes here. Bust the rhymes. You have rhymes? Yes. I it's didn't the see the Wee Cherith. Cherith! There it is. I, mm -hmm. I see the word Cherith. Oh, now. do you now? Yeah. Well, if I'd have seen it, I would have said, said it, properly. it properly. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Cherith. Other than that, it's very light. Charith. Which I guess you get from the titanium. Mm -hmm. But it is extremely light to me to uh, well, be such did, a large you knife. You did just uh, have the Titano. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're moving on now. I like this knife, not as much as the Equivoc. I really like this one, but it's very well designed. The shape of the blade is perfect for using, especially if you want to choke up on it and you needed any precision cutting. The handle, very similar in texture as C, so elo eloquently brought up, very similar to the Wee Cherith. Extremely eye-catching in color. Everything about it is quality and well done. I mean, you can't say anything negative about it. It's a great knife. Go ahead. Come to the final knife. Not about talk anymore. I can't say anything negative. <sighs> Latest version of the Kaiser Original XL mm -hmm. option has a titanium snowflake handle. Yeah. The surface surface mimics frost, sort of. Anyways, it's option is 7.48 inch overall for someone who's never seen frost, and sports a 3.27 inch drop point S35B sure in blade, that. which has a black finish, 0.11 thickness, and a plain edge. Yep. So you can snap the blade open with. Either the dual side thumb studs or you can go with the, the button lock. Comes with a deep carry right tip up pocket clip, cleaning cloth pouch, and stickers. Go ahead. Weighs only 3.74 ounces and can be yours for just $149. From AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah. Right. I was cued properly. Yes. It's a nice knife. Um, kind of reminds me of several other ones, obviously. They have a lot of similarities in their designs uh, when it comes to these. High quality with S35VN, that's nice. It's easy to open and deploy. It does want to bounce out, if you notice, every time at the bottom, unless you just let go of the button at the perfect time. But that would come with uh, practice. Oh wow, they went back to that. There's a nice uh, writing on the spine. Used to have the designer's name, now they've got original snowflake. So, you know what? Nice knife. Decent price. They'll put it on sale a couple of times here and there. Yeah. yeah. I like that tri Kaiser's trying to expand their handle looks. Especially since, you know, Civivi and we are trying to outdo them a little with the Ultim mm. and the vibrant aluminum colors and that Lexan Elementum that's coming out soon. Oh, I know about that which one. Which we'll be featuring, hopefully. So, I'm not sure this is quite up to Ultim and those yet. Well, they have Ultim too, but it, it's not as good except on the Towser K. Yeah. The, the rest K of them, it good. doesn't seem to be yeah, quite they gotta the same. Just, just work out the kinks a little. I mean, it's nice and different. I just don't know if it pops enough for me. I mean, their Nebula version of the XL is way better than this. I love yeah. that knife. She loves it. Love it. Can't beat that. All right. That does it for our first episode of Season 6. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that notification bell. That way you're linked to AK and notified when new content is released. You also get automatically entered a giveaway. Yep, you can double your chances of winning those by becoming an official AK member via the link mm -hmm. down below. Just like Michael Leck. Yeah, not only to get entered into giveaways, but you also get access to new knives, AK deals, and more. I could have said Mick. Yeah. Mick can get his own clothes. Bloody clothes. All right. Can't see what comes to my mind when I hear Mick, so. Mick. 
Yeah, it's from Gran Torino. You can't. Oh. This is a PG. It's a family PG -13. show. PG thirteen. Yeah. yeah. All right. Favorite. Obviously the PMP. Tap it like you mean it. Honor it. Okay, and I'm gonna go with the Wii Equivoc. But then what T ball stand for? Somebody say. Get fifteen minutes for lunch. Pie. Ten minutes for eating. I'd like pie. Five minutes to get refocused. It's a thick T-shirt. <laughs> All right, with that, I'm C. I heard you got your butt handed to you by... <laughs> Only minivans. And Only this women. was... Jewel, just Jewel. She can remember her name. And we are... Luckily. Signing off. Drink as, and get you some keys. I didn't drink as much as you over the holidays, so. The phone will ring, and there'll be no one there. All right. I think these are really cute. I know I'm not supposed to call knives cute, but they are. I mean, they would make perfect neck care. You just got to slap on one of those uh, paracord lanyards or a billet chain. You carry this around all day long. It's so nice and such a good knife for the money. Mm. I would get one. It might have been very popular. Yeah, exactly. I would also. If I were to carry a neck knife... Actually, it's be a good little belt carry also. Yeah, You just flip it around and do it. Uh, it's easy to get out because you can just push off with your thumb. Finger ring is plenty big for everyone's hands, including my mother-in-law. Which is surprising. Uh, who is still here with us. And <laughs> he said with as little disdain as possible. No disdain at all. Oh, uh, no disdain. <laughs> that was your mother-in-law hissing at you from mm. a distance.